this is my spot. This is my spot. You're probably wondering why, why is this guy laying in his closet? Take a guess. Right? This is where the clothes is, I guess, with the shoes. But you see what's down there, right? Like that forever <laughs> but this is where I I come to go before the father I come here to go before God because sometimes it's all you have and you have to lock yourself away See the doors closed over there you gotta lock yourself away with the word you know, because when you're feeling beaten down by life or you're broken you're wounded and battered like you just came from war you're pretty much in a war think about it you're fighting to get a job you're fighting to keep your your house afloat you're fighting to pay your bills you're fighting to feed your kids um you're pretty much in a war <laughs> you know you're fighting against covid against people against Generational curses, I mean, you name it, right? You name it, that's just a few. You're in a war. You're in a battle zone. You're on the battlefield. You know, every day you're on the battlefield, right? So if you're not taking time to go before the Father, you, you, you're in big trouble. If you're not taking time to spend time with God, you know, because really, really, He's the only one that can help you. In your time of need, in your time of desperation, in your time of struggling, in your time of heartache and pain, in your time of brokenness, only God can help you. I mean, people, there's always one or two areas that you can lean into. Somebody might listen to you. Somebody might give you advice. Somebody might give you 50 bucks. You know, hey, you know, take yourself out. Go do this. Go do that. Go get a massage. You know, go get a haircut. Get your nails done. Something, right? But really, I'm talking about you want somebody that can give you purpose and direction. You need someone that can give you and fill you, fill your cup with wisdom and knowledge and understanding when you're broken. Who can help you do that? Only God. Only God. Only God can direct you. Only God can fill you with purpose and destiny and passion and legacy. Only God can give you those things, you know. As much as we want to run away from that or think that we're so smart that we can do everything on our own, we can't. We can't because when, when stuff hit the fan, <laughs> you know, some of us end up crying like babies and we realize how fragile we are and how fragile life is, right? And then you have to run back like a baby with your tail tucked between your legs because you realize that you can't do it on your own, only God. Can help you only god can sustain you only god can give you what you need that's why sometimes i'm locked away in this closet you know i gotta cry before the father when things fall apart or when you need advice or you need wisdom or you need direction only god can help you with that people can't give you that those things that wisdom that divine intervention only god can give you that I don't care who you serve. The only person that's going to get up and help you is the living God. Buddha can help you. Muhammad can help you. Hani Krishna can help you. They're dead. Only God. Not even the Virgin Mary. Only God can help you. <laughs> you know, I don't care how good of a boyfriend or girlfriend, significant other, husband or wife, kids, mother, father. Only God. Your source is God, you know, your source, the giver of life, the giver of life is the only one that can sustain you. So just a short word for you, my fellow people. Um, where does your help come from? Your help comes from God. You know, like I said, I don't care 
we try to pretend sometimes we know it all, we can do it all, or we want to make people think that we can do this and do that, but really, it only comes down to the source, which is Christ, God, our Heavenly Father. He's the only one that can help you. That's why I'm locked away in this closet sometimes. You need to find a place, um, you need to find a, a place of refuge in your home where you can go to when you feel alone or you feel like nobody can help you. You need to find a place of, of solace and quietness, peace, you know. Sometimes I go to my lake and, and you know, on the top of my subdivision, I go by the lake and, and, and talk to God. So you need to find a place where you can go for refuge and spend time with God. That's why I'm locked away here. My encouragement to you is to find a place to talk to God. God bless you. Peace.